Okay. Welcome back. Now we haven't really talked much about what to do with the yaw stick, and mainly because I'm sort of just using the turn and stuff. But of course, there's lots of manoeuvres you can do. Just again trying to create that inertia for you to do stuff, and like a favourite one is just letting it go backwards. But lots of people enjoy the inverted yaw spin, which it, it does what it sounds really. And if you've never done it before, it's a bit of a heart-stopping moment because, of course, you're you're upside down, you're doing a manoeuvre, it's a little bit disorientating. But, of course, there's no real difference to just doing some sort of extended hang in the air like that. You just need to make sure you're obviously confident doing that first and you've been, if you've been following the series along, sort of getting better and practising, then uh, I'm sure you'll be used to sort of the, the pump and the let go and the manoeuvre and all that sort of gubbin. So let's do one and lots of height, take it nice and slow. So we're going to go up, get plenty of height, power off, oops, and there we go, and come back out. That wasn't very clean, was it? Because I moved the wrong stick. This isn't a your stick, this is a your stick. What an idiot. <laughs> so let's do another one of those, a little bit, a little bit cleaner. We go up, turn, your, and come back. And you can see there, what I do, I slightly use both sticks and you kind of kind of nice when you yaw you can sort of spiral out like this putting your sticks in combination you know and we're just used to doing whatever aren't we when when we're flying around now we're super confident with it and you know as you get quicker and braver you can go a little bit lower now the one thing I would say watch out for is doing it too quickly what you might need to do depending on your camera angle because of course your camera angle isn't flat so when you hang yourself upside down your quad isn't flat. As you rotate, you might have to just correct with the sticks on the pitch end, just to try and keep it there. And if you try to do that too fast, and you didn't correct, it can look a bit messy. Although on this quad, it's, it's particularly good actually. But yeah, use that horizon, spin it, come back. It's easy as that, really. Um, it's just it's just a little bit about bravery. A little bit about you know i suggest you don't start going super quick because have a look at your ground details see what you want to see when you're trying to get back to it and come out in the whatever way you like you know the world is your oyster when we're flying like this for good luck. Wow, well, that was... What was that? Nah. Still pop up behind us after yeah. That wasn't very good, was it? Bit messy. I kind of went the wrong way when I uh, tried to correct and, and, and went into a nice spiral anyway. Let's try a better one to finish. We're spiralling over. You know, just play with your sticks. That's the most important thing. Anyway, for some part, that was your manoeuvres and a piece of grass on the lens and uh, inverted your spins and the sort of variants of therein, just randomly mashing the sticks around. As per usual, questions, comments, suggestions, stick them on down below. I do read them all. I try and answer them. Uh, and hopefully I will do if you make a comment. I will catch you in the next video, bye bye for now, let's see if I can land it and wave. A bit bumpy still. Well, you've made it to the end of the video, so thanks once again for watching. If you like what you saw, then please consider subscribing, and if you really like what you saw, then be sure to check out the link to my blog for a variety of ways in which you can help support this channel.